I'm not gonna be playing Hansa. <laughs> he is level 17, by the way. Just like crazy stuff. Like I have Alex Strata at level 8 or something, and Hanzo is level 17. I played I played way too much Hanzo. I have Anna at level 7, like <laughs> uh what a hero. What a well-balanced hero he is. Um, okay, so what do we want to do? What do we want to do on the Sky Temple? Uh, we are planning to pick Falstad Murky. Uh, maybe I should pick a tank, but I really, I really don't feel like that. Uh, let's pick up. I wanna. I kind of want to play Karazim. Let's pick Karazim. Uh, okay, let's go. I wanted to try out the full healing Karazim with just Transcendence, Pfft, Spirit or Earth Ally, then what do we pick at 7 for healer Karazim? St I think we still pick Blinding Speed, right? Unless I want Heavenly Zeal, and Heaven Ze Heavenly Zeal plus Echo of Heaven, uh, you get a lot of speed boost. Although with Junkrat it won't really make much of a difference, so I don't know. I don't know, we need to figure that out. Somehow. We can still synergize Transcendence with Blinding Speed and Way of the Hundred Fists. In fact, it's almost better to go for Transcendence there, because you get a burst of healing, and uh, since um, healing won't get reduced, uh, even though... but the damage of your auto attacks gets reduced, so it kind of gets scaled down a little bit. Uh, whereas the healing will still stay the same, so having Transcendence can get you a lot of value. So this is maybe what I'm gonna do? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Which healer am I afraid of? Let's go, let's ban Alexstrasza. Cause... sure. Let's ban Alexstrasza. I don't feel like we have enough interrupt for her. Uh, so Cleansing Flame and the Dragon Form both would probably go through. And we're just gonna deny them that. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Might be, might not be, who knows. Who knows even? They picked up Brad. Oh, Interesting, they have a full on melee team. And I can't help but feel like that's not the best choice against Kerosene. Uh, although, I must say that Ragnaros would be hard to kill. Because uh, if Ragnaros just goes for the Q build, there will be always like Blaze and me in the front line punching him probably. Uh, so he would get cooldown reduction on his Qs and more healing and more damage and all of that nonsense. So maybe Ragnaros wasn't such a bad idea. After all. They have a very, very melee heavy team. Which can kill us super fast. So if Varian taunts... Uh, Vala or Junkrat, they instantly die. Maybe I would go for Cleansing Touch. Actually, the simplest way to deal with that is just Divine Palm. Whoever they engage, I just Divine Palm them and that's a kill denied. Genji doesn't get a reset, which means he would dash into our team. Maybe we can turn on him and kill him. Okay, cool. Seems like a good plan. And Greyman will use his go for the throat. It will get wasted because it will, will, won't get a kill and the extra charge of go for the throat won't be there for grey main so it's cool like if they actually do that thing where they just choose a target and focus it down i'm down for that do it guys do it also i have level 13 talent that gives me 75 armor um when i get stunned right, only losses. right where is it uh while stunned or rooted so ragnaros can stun me but that's it. Okay. Where is my foe? Okay. I feel like this talent has been nerfed a lot. Because uh, lots of heroes got reworks where instead of stunning somebody for like a split second, instead they get slowed for like 90% of seconds. their uh, movement speed and stuff like that. So things like this have actually been nerfed a bit. It's interesting. Interesting to think about that. That way. Or like a ju Junkrat can pick up uh, his trap talent which would slow people instead of rooting them and that way he can counter my sixth sense. It's interesting. Huh. Transcendence. Uh, well, I, yeah, I never really thought about it that way, so... 
find it fascinating. Okay, so every third punch will heal us, heal the lowest nearby and ally hero thing, and it would also uh, give us movement speed. And by the way, the healing is amazing. Like, if somebody actually decides to trade with us and they just don't have the damage to insta kill somebody, we can slowly win a fight thanks to Transcendence. Because uh, it's. I don't know. It's weirdly strong. Like. <laughs> you wouldn't think that it's healing as much as it does. And I can like solo bosses and whatnot. I think I think I can solo bosses with this build, maybe. As long as I have enough mana to heal myself and whatnot. It'll take me an hour to kill the boss, probably. But I will do it eventually. Okay, cool. Greymane doing his... Oh, is it? Oh no, it's actually Genji. So like right now. Right now people were a bit low and... Well, I didn't really save them, they had everything figured out on their own, but if there wasn't as much disruption as our team was able to cause there, I would have been able to slowly pull off a victory for our team there with my healing. So that was kind of kind of a thing there. Maybe I should have body blocked him. Yeah, I probably should have at least tried to do it. Now that I think about it, I will go for Earth ally. A really, really strong versus all of their team. Uh, Ragnaros likes to auto attack Rhaegar. Uh, it's actually really effective versus Rhaegar because there would be times uh, where uh, Rhaegar would try to secure the kill. And with the Earth ally, I can de not only deny him the kill, but also uh, Rhaegar will end up in a very unfortunate position after that. And that, that that's obviously nice. So, like, right here, we are just dominating this uh, Genji in terms of health. <laughs> in terms of health. Uh, you know how it works. Yeah, dominating Genji in terms of health. That's kind of what you do as Karazim. Uh, that's... yeah. Mm. Okay, Leoric, I'm here to help, don't you? Oh, yes! There we go, beautiful stuff. I love the potential of Kerosene to like, secure kills. Uh, thanks to your deadly reach, you get extra range on your auto attacks. And you can just reach slightly, slightly further than other heroes. And that uh, just might be the difference between a kill and not a kill. And that's awesome. And I think for Sky Temple, Transcendence is also a solid choice. I can just hang out in this uh, temples, slowly killing things and never never really running a chance of dying. The only problem is that I will eventually run out of mana, so I kinda need to deal with that. So do I want cleanse? No. Uh, I will go for blinding speed, no cleanse. And we're, gonna, we're gonna go for uh, aggressive healing. Uh, we're gonna be punching people 100 times and heal our allies in the process. It's gonna be a ton, a ton of fun. Clearly. Well, that sucks a bit. That they just got it, but it's fine. We got the most most shots from here, so it's okay. It's all right. And top keep top four is almost dead. So close to being dead. Captain Fat Foster, faster, uh, Foster. Cool, nice name. This game is weird, though. Like uh, people are kind of spread out a lot. At least Yorick is doing what he's supposed to, just getting the trait value all the time. That's the only thing we can ask him to do, right? Right? Okay, Varian. Do you do like punches in the face? Hope you do. Because I got plenty of those. Yes. Okay, let's find. Let's find something. Can we even find something? I will... Like, nothing is happening, look at this. Everything is just super chill and whatnot, so I will just grab this camp. It will take me a minute to do it, but <laughs> that's that's about how much time we need. So I'm just gonna be spamming my deadly reach and not even looking at the camp. Should be able to sustain myself relatively well. Uh, we're gonna check out what our Yorick is doing. Trying to push that fort down. 
he will probably succeed because he has critical damage and whatnot. Uh, but oh, he gave up. Not even wow. And he might die to oh yeah, he is definitely dead. There is nothing I can do for you, I'm afraid. Maybe if I was there earlier, but that's just the orc value right there. That's just <laughs> making sure his trait gets used. You know how it goes. So I will wait for this a little bit, uh, so that the camp will be a bit pushed in into our side, and enemies will delay themselves by dealing with it, and we're gonna get a lot of early shots from the temple, because somebody will have to deal with top lane. Okay, um, Junkrat, why are you so dead? Let me heal you, friend. Just come here. Just, just come, come here. Just come here, I have plenty of healing for you, friend. Do not let these mortals approach them. Oh, is this a dead Ragnaros? Maybe? Not really. Not really, it's alright, so... Let's keep punching this stuff. Oh, really? Okay. If that's what you wanna do, Ragnaros, sure. Okay, enemies have all of their ultimates, we need to be a bit... A bit careful here about what we do. Okay, I will keep... No, run to me, not away from me, damn it! That's like, what are you doing, team? Like, what are you doing? Like, why do you have to be like that? Uh, cool, great. I'm glad that happened. <laughs> I'm really glad... <gasps> oh, I do run away from me. I was like, I will keep at this temple so that my team knows where to go if they need healing and none of that happened. And I didn't really want to waste my ultimates on myself. So like, I was trying to find another target to ult, but everyone was at least at half health. So now we're gonna have an ultimate here. They will maybe try to go for the boss and maybe we can harass them there. I don't know. This is weird. That was such a weird fight for us. We should not have lost it at all. Like, I, I really don't understand why Vala decided not to come with me there. Come to me. But hey. Can't force your teammates to be healed, huh? Oh yeah, and also the queue time was real long for this game. Oh well. <clears throat> that healing totem. Okay, there's Ragnos flanking us. And we get resurrected and people are getting blocked now. Okay, this Genji should be dead? Question mark? No, not, 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 not with Varian there. It's cooldown. Uh, let's pick up... I don't even know what we wanna pick up. Okay, cool. Yeah, just dives the fort. Just dives the fort, Vala. That's, that's definitely the right call there. Not even a question about that. And this is the healing of um, my ultimate you thing. Uh, not the ultimate, but my, my trade thing. Maybe I should have went for Fists of Fury. Maybe I should have went for that. Unless I want to go for spell armor. Spell armor might help versus Ragnaros. Um, maybe? Maybe? Yeah, let's go for spell shields. That way, if Varian taunts me, Ragnaros won't really do too much damage with his ultimate and whatnot. That might help. Okay, Junkrat is top. I feel like I should be bottom because it's a boss. Okay, I'm, I'm, yep, this, this Vala isn't really <laughs> positioning herself safely, you know? It's not, not a fan of that. Definitely not a fan of that. We can kill this boy, so, Blaze? Oh, maybe not? Maybe that's not such, such a great idea after all. There are five people here. No way we're gonna fight that, so let's just soak some. I welcome a new trial. Let's just soak a bit. 
Okay, Blaze providing us vision, precious vision. Why is nobody grabbing like that? What? That's so weird. Uh, what a game. What a game. Truly. Oh, yep. Hello, Greymane. What's up? Kill this, boys. Vala is frontlining again, but that's alright. Well, that's okay. Uh, I guess let's help our team. Let's do that. Sure. Let's just stay next to Vala so that she doesn't die for no reason. Or at least we're gonna help her not to die for this just a second longer. <laughs> that's good Use enough. Okay, now we have way of the hundred fists. Which means every time we dash to an enemy, our allies will get a ton of healing. Isn't that great? Your flaws are cool. Everyone is healed. Uh, would it be nice to... I guess to do anything is this good, like right now, because it's like nothing is happening. Well, that was fun. There we go. The power of our trait transcendence value thing. Keep going. Punching people, healing people. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. Yeah, it is amazing how much healing we're actually able to put out in the steam fights. And it always heals the priority target too, which is also an awesome thing about it. Like it will always heal an ally with the lowest health. Uh, so you are guaranteed to get value from your transcendence as long as you stay close to people. And that's good. That's good. I was a bit out of the fight there, but it worked out in the end, so it's okay. Uh, like I was I was kind of low on health, so I was afraid to maybe re-engage too fast. Say they had like we, we killed Genji early on, but they still had Greymane and Ragnaros and Dragar, all of them could have could have killed me quite easily, so I was a bit afraid to re-engage there, but my team held and it worked in the end. So it's all cool. Uh, let's go top here. And they keep like taunting me, doing their combo on me, and not killing me while Ragnaros's stun is up, right? Uh, the kill comes in after the stun fades out. And I just have just enough time to cast Divine Palm on me. I think that Spell Shield really helps in this situation. Okay, we should technically leave that. Maybe, actually we have a boss bottom, right? So we should get as much value as possible. Okay, just stand on it, guys. Don't die. Don't die! Well, okay. I hope they don't die too much. Okay, two shots. Can leave now. Oh yeah, don't you worry, Vala. You are totally doing everything right. It was worth it. We got two keeps, Salty Vala, and... And I survived, so it's all good. It was definitely a worthy play. Oh, hey there, Ragnaros. Okay, cool, cool. Yes. They did get a camp though, so we need to kind of deal with that. I will go do it. Cool. So like that camp did gives them almost nothing. Uh, we were distracting them here. They were doing nothing there. Our other lanes were pushing a little bit. Now we are all alive, looking for kills. Let's hope we find them. Would be nice to get this camp. But that's not our plan, seems like. And that's okay. That's alright. Uh, cool, I think I will go for... Well, Storm Shield would be nice. So I will just go for it. Actually, I will go for Epiphany. 
Are we gonna go full full aggro healing mode here? Seems like a good plan. At least to me. Okay, they are now mid. Um, I don't think it's worth doing that camp. At least, unless. Oh, thanks for the vision, Blaze. That was nice of you. Okay, now that we have everyone here, it's actually nice, because if I was alone here, then definitely not worth it, since I won't be able to, like, do it fast enough. But since everyone came to help, it was a fast camp capture, now we can fight over this temple two levels ahead, because somebody was doing top temple and got us one extra keep from it, but Vala again is frontlining, so who knows how this fight will play out. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. It's truly a mystery. Well, we got another keep. Now we are firing at their core. Okay, there. Okay, the engines are being started. Whoa, that was a bit too much damage, but we got our... Well, <laughs> well, that didn't work, but this should be a cleanup. I had a little bit too low health there, and I think Ragnaros cleaved and killed me. Yeah, 110 extra damage overkill. But here we go. Our camp doing all the work, catapults, destroying the enemy core. Good game overall. I think it was decent-ish. Maybe, maybe not the best, but considering our really bizarre teammates, uh, <laughs> I feel like it was as good as it could have gone. I think Blaze played well. Out of all people, Blaze, Blaze did good. Good job, Blaze. So Blaze went for like neural steam pack. Actually, not not often you see that. Usually people either go for Unstoppable or attack speed or the uh, shield, the shield steam pack thing, but this one is actually ability cooldowns and some mana, which is nice. Really, jogger not plating. I guess it prevents damage from Greyman, Ragnaros, Genji. I guess it, it, it's just so weird picking up like a spell armor talent into a melee team, you know? But it worked. Cool. Uh, cool stuff. Oh, I had no XP contribution, by the way. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, oh well.